sister, and her YouTube channel will be in the description. Um, today we will talk be talking about good and bad hermit crab tanks. So let's get into the video. Is this your hermit crab tank? Because if so, you're doing horrible. And you want to know why? Because they're, one, this is not, you're not going to keep humidity in with this. Two, there's gravel, which will break off the tips of their legs, which will cause them stress. They might eat it, and it will get stuck in their shells. Two, the food dish and the food. This food is kibble. And kibble has a thoxic, ethoxiquin in it, which is known as a pesticide. And also, it's already broken. And then, another problem with it is, why is there sponge? Hermit crabs may be eating sponges, and they don't get the right moisture they need. It's best to have a nice water dish that they can fully submerge in. And the last problem with this tank, they're the hermit crab shell. But, that's good, but it's painted. Not good. And in my painted shells, I talked about painted shells in my hermit crab shells video. Um, so I'd check that out. Um, and next we will be showing a good tank. Is this your hermit crab tank? If so, you're doing great. Doing amazing. There's lots of stuff for these hermit crabs to climb. It has a source of heat. Um, it has a nice place for them to hide. They can fully submerge in their water dishes, um, which already need to be refilled. They have salt and fresh water, and they have all natural shells, and they have a good diet. They even have some nice sticks to climb to. And they have lots of moss and nice, deep eco-earth. And I think that's it for today's video. Wait. Thanks for watching. Bye!